Welcome to the Spooky Sampler Quilt Along Week 4. I am following Pat Sloan with this project and this week she's doing the spider webs and the uh, witch's hat. Here's one of the spider webs. That's the big one. Here's the little one. And then here's one of the witch's hats. So I'm going to show you how I went through and did these blocks and I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you. Here are the fabrics for the witch's hat. She provided templates that to use to cut out the witch's hat and the witch's the ribbon on the hat. And I have done that with the black and the orange fabric and then the gray fabric is the background that I used to square the block off. So at this point, I've sewn on the background material to the top of my hat. And what I'm doing here is now squaring it off. Uh, I believe it was 12 and a half inches by seven and a half inches tall. So that's what I'm doing here. Also, I forgot to cut the uh, brim of the hat when I was cutting out all my material. So I had to do that here. Here's my witch's hat blocks. They were easier to put together than I anticipated. I don't know why. Um, I wasn't sure how the top of the hat would be put together. I am a little surprised that in her pattern she shows the top of the hat as the top of the block, but when you cut it to size that's not how it came out. So that was interesting. I don't think it'll be a problem, but it was just interesting. So next up is the spider web blocks. And we've got the large block here, and we've got the smaller block down here. 
So what we're going to do is we cut out the strips and we've got two strips of alternating or of like dark and light colors. And then what we're going to do is sew them together. So we've got dark light, dark light. And then once they're sewn together, we're going to come along and cut these triangles out. And then after that, we'll sew the triangles together and we'll end up in the end with what looks like a spiderweb block. So I'm just going to go get these strips all sewn together. Okay, so here's my uh, strips sewn together. And from this point, we're going to take these triangles that were templates that she gave us and we're going to start cutting these out and we'll start here and then we'll turn it over and we'll just keep alternating like that until we have I think eight pieces of each and then we start putting them together so it looks like a spider web I got them all cut out and this is how they're going to be arranged to make the spider web and then I've got my background pieces back here that I'll use uh, to start squaring it off when it's done but what I'm going to do is start sewing four pieces together so I'll sort of sew these four pieces together and make this half then I'll sort of sew these four pieces together and make this half and then I'll put the two halves together. So what I'll be doing is matching the seams up right here and then ironing the uh, seams open to give it a nice flatness because there's going to be a lot of seams in this. So I'm going to go over start sewing these together. get the other four pieces I'll do those four and then I'm gonna put put it all together okay I've got the two halves to the spider uh, web done so what I'm gonna do now is put it together like this I'm gonna match the seams and then sew right down the center there so let's get these seams matched up Okay, so our uh, our blocks are done, our spider webs. Here it's what it looks like. There's the purple one. So I'm going to start with the larger one and we're going to take our background pieces and we're going to put them onto all these light colored pieces. Like this. We're going to sew them up, we're going to iron them out, and then we're going to take this thing and we're going to square it into a, uh, how big a block? <clears throat> 12 and a half by 12 and a half inch block. So that's what this, these pieces are going to do. Once we get them sewn on, they'll give us that room to be able to turn this into a square. So I am going to get these sewn on and bring it back and show you. 
So we've got the same thing going on here where we've got our pieces to square it off are going to go to the light outer edges and they're going to get sewn on just like that. And then once we get these on we'll square it off and then these are the sashing type pieces that go around the edge of the block. So I'm going to get this sewn up. There we go. Got my eight and a half and a uh, by eight and a half inch square. So now I'm going to take these two border pieces, sew them onto each side, press them, and then I will take these two bigger pieces and sew them on. And then I'll have my block. It'll be all done. There you have it. Finished it up. So it's now 12 and a half inch by 12 and a half inch square block. And this is week four all finished of the spooky sampler quilt along that I'm following with Pat Sloan. You can uh, watch that on her blog or over on her YouTube channel. The pattern's by polkadotchair.com. Polka Melissa Mortensen also um, designed the fabrics in this. They're Riley Blake fabrics. So, getting close, getting close, it's getting exciting. We've got the, all the flags to do and the ghosts and these larger pumpkins. And that's all that's left to do. So, once I get these done, I can put together those rows. Got this row all together. So it's exciting. Let me know if you're doing it. Um, go over to my Facebook page, Canary Quilts. Leave a picture of how far you are, what you've gotten done, and I'd love to see it. And so thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you next week.